know the pain that it is this year and NBA DraftKings. Maybe I need to switch over to FanDuel or something. But I think this was my best start Oops. of the year so far. Um, I had Embiid, 52 points. I've noticed the guys that are higher priced, they haven't been hitting into the 70s lately. So, but I had Osmond at 49%, 10% owned. Jimmy Butler, I called um, in the... In my previous video for 47 points. Olga Fork mentioned 48. My favorite play marketing 48. And then Beasley, man. Whew. No, not even 12 points. Forbes did five points until like the last three minutes of the game. I'm not sure what the Spurs are doing with their rotation. Rondo again 30. I thought I had a leg up with Rondo, and I guess not. It hurts. But we're gonna move on. And let's see like this. Eight games late tonight. I'm gonna mention my oop mention my top five. Um let's go center. I want a Jokic. Uh, I think he's too obvious of a play. <laughs> and as the pattern is going this week, if he scores in the fifties, that hurts you. So we're, we're gonna go cheaper and actually the Jazz are the sixth worst team defending centers. Um, they're giving up an average, an average of 23 points, 15 rebounds, four and a half assists, and two and a half blocks, and even 1.65 steals a game. If Nurkic can stay out of foul trouble. He yeah, last meeting he had 54 points. It'd be awesome if he did that again. And then I really wanted to play Drew Holiday. I think a lot of people are going to play Drew Holiday. But if you look at someone a little bit cheaper, I like Trey Young. I couldn't fit Trey Young on my team. But Fox looks like he might be the play of the whole day. The Hawks are the worst team against point guards, by far. Um, they give 25 points, 8 assists, 6 rebounds, two over 2 steals a game. So if this is a close game, Fox is the ability to score over 50 points today. I, I really do believe that. I believe not too many people are going to play him because he only is scoring in the low 30s and 20s the last few games here. I'm going to go right back. Oop. Oop. Go right back to Frank Jackson, that shooting guard. Uh, I mentioned him as a possible sleeper yesterday, and he ended up starting. Uh, I don't know what happened, but he had 21 points in the third quarter, and he still ended up with 21 points. Was he not used on the stretch? But... Still win the game. I'm surprised that the Pelicans can keep their games close against really good teams without, like, their top three players, basically. I mean, I'd argue Drew Holiday's better than Miritich. Might be better than Randall, but you get the point. Man, uh, you know, the way the, the team was played, you know, they could probably trade Anthony Davis tomorrow, and they'll be fine. You know, as long as they got, like, Couple first round picks and like one or two good, really good players coming back it might be even better without Anthony without Anthony Davis. Okay, small four going my favorite pick of the whole year, Luka Doncic, playing at Madison Square Garden. I don't see how he doesn't drop at least fifty here. I guess he can be the highest player. Uh, I mean, uh, the, he can score the most points. Um, for some reason, he doesn't get a lot of high ownership, like 15% maximum. I'm not sure why people aren't playing him. He could be played t tonight, but hopefully he's low owned tonight and scores in the 60s, like last time. And I think everyone's going to play this play. Al Horford, I don't see how you cannot play him. He's... 
on a heck of a streak right now. Yeah, it could be a letdown game. But the Hornets, they really don't have any big man to defend him. As long as this game's close, he should continue his little hot streak going on. And, yeah, these are my plays, guys. Um, oh, I had, do have one other sleeper. You know, he may not be a sleeper too much longer. I don't even know how many minutes he's going to play, but it looks like Jabari Parker is back in the rotation. Yeah, he did have a great game yesterday, and I uh, <laughs> probably should have played him because, you know, big man against Brooklyn is a thing. And, yeah, had I played him over Beasley, that's like 34 extra points. That would have put me in the 340s and challenging at the top of like a 30, uh, about, yeah, be challenged at the top of a tournament that had like 34,000 people in. He probably hit like 10 points tonight, but Miami is big men. They're not as bad as Brooklyn, but they're not that great. And there's a trend. He gets the tournaments every other game. But it's a back-to-back. Bulls might get, get, be getting blown out, so that means he'll play more. And as long as he gets another 20, 25 minutes. I mean, this guy's a scorer. He just eats defenses up. And especially on the second unit, I'm just going to take a chance. It might be like a day too late. But, you know, I don't see anyone better than him. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to play uh, Darius Miller tonight, which I personally think is dangerous. He's getting, like, 40 minutes a game. I guess he's getting better because he used to play, like, 35 minutes and score, like, 15 points. But I think... I don't know. I know they're playing at home. I know they've been playing great, but I just think that the Nuggets might be able just to blow the uh, the Pelicans out. And we'll see a lot of the Pelicans bench tonight with hopefully Frank Jackson. So, yep, I like uh, De'Aaron Fox, Frank Jackson, Luka, uh, Horford, and Nurkic. Also, if you want to gamble a little bit, I like Whiteside. It's seventy five hundred dollars, and he only plays twenty two minutes, but he could score fifty points. Now a whole lot of people are going to play him. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment uh, section below, and good luck and let's win some money tonight.